Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I am going to be dyeing a rainbow. Now the colours I've got here are Fuchsia Red, Orange Crush, Daffodil, New Emerald Green, Turquoise and Lavender. And these are all fibre reactive dyes from Dharma. First I'm going to start with the Daffodil. Um, there we go. That's because yellow is generally the weakest colour and I don't want it to be overpowered by the orange or the green. There we go. So I'm going to leave that, wash my paintbrush off and I'm going to go into the orange now. I don't mind if there's a bit of uh, yellow still on this because it, orange, there is yellow in orange so I'm not contaminating this colour but I will wash my brush to go into the next one. Now I'm leaving a little bit of a gap. Uh, we'll see, I'll, I'll massage the, the dye through and I'll spread the dye a little bit. So now I'm gonna wash this off. I'm gonna go into the green, which is new emerald green. Now, I have got my gloves on, so I don't want this to get on my skin. Um, I'm not wearing a mask at the moment because all this, it, this is all in solution. But when I was making up these little dye pots, I um, was wearing a mask. There we go, going to turquoise now. Probably afford to be a little bit more generous spacing wise. I'm not. Not too worried if these aren't all exactly the same length. I'm just, there we go. Oh, I've still got two more colours left. Okay, going for the lavender. Oh, that's a beautiful purple. Right, I hate to make this small because I made the turquoise quite large, didn't I? Whoops, oh well. And Fuchsia red. It's gonna be quite. Oh yeah, that's nice. There we go. Now this equipment I've got here is dedicated for dyeing. I don't use it for food. I don't use it for anything else. So now I'm just going to just try massaging it through a little bit. You see, this is why I've got a towel on my table. <laughs> One of the reasons I can just wipe my fingers off on it quite easily. Let's see if I can massage that one down. There we go. Don't want to get too. There we go. Uh, trying to make these joins a bit even. There we go. Now, the great thing about cotton is that you don't actually need heat to set it, you just need time. So I'm just gonna wrap this up. Actually, I've got a tiny scrap of cotton here that I'm not using for anything. This has been soaking in soda ash as well. So I'm just gonna wipe up the extra drips here. There we go. Uh, there we go. There we go, and I can Fold this up and I'm just going to leave this in a place that's not too hot and not too cold just for 24 to 48 hours. Um, actually, let's plonk that little bit in there too, don't forget that. There we go. And in about 48 hours we can wash this and see what we've got. Now I'm not going to waste all that's left over here. I will be using it again in another project right now. I don't know when the video will be out though. Okay. It's been just a little over two days now. So let's wash this. Ooh. You can see there's quite a lot of residue dye on the cling film, which is to be expected with cotton. And that's also why I'm wearing my um, gloves. I don't want stain cans. Yeah, there is a bit of uh, runoff which is to be expected. I'm going to just use washing up liquid 
and some cold tap water just to try and get all this extra residue off, just run off, off. Yeah, the water's already clearing. So I'm gonna keep washing this until the water runs completely clear. And here is our beautiful rainbow floss. Now I know I did go a little bit overboard with the turquoise and the yellow, those sections are quite big. And that purple section is really, really tiny. But I'm not disappointed, I'm really happy with this. I quite like the randomness of the lengths and I will dye this again and I will use um, my hexagon jar, which I have used before. I've wrapped around, floss around that and painted it so that each length, each color is the same length. Here is the little bit of floss that I dyed with this. I just um, use this to wipe down the surface of, and it's really nice. I like it. It's a nice pastel color, mainly blue and green, but they've got a little bit of purple there. And I think this looks really great all on its own. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please do click like and subscribe to my channel. I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial every Monday, which is usually uploaded between about 6 and 8 p.m. UK time. And in each video, I do like to try doing something different. So I might use different dyes or techniques, or sometimes I'll, do, I'll dye some floss or some cross-stitch fabric or different types of yarn. Uh, there'll always be something different. Thank you so much for watching.